At the end of 90 minutes, the senior national team, the Black Stars, pulled out a 0-0 with their nemesis from Sudan at Accra Sports Stadium. Some fans are here to share their opinions on the full throttle of the game. But also, game, no who is saying? Oh, but born it there. Born a place for nine yard here. Oh, my yard here. Ah, I didn't know who you are. Must be parking yet. Give a phone up, one more body, I have a pack of mamma. Must go to the ball to go to the ball. You say you have two points, you say one point. Say you come home. You are going to come home, you are going to come home. You are going to come home, you are going to come home. 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 I was asked to boss me now. I was going to say, I'm four. Four guys are going to show Oh boy, that's almost the same. That's the answer. Who is the baby? Is that good? Shabby, not good. Shabby. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. First half, no just now, boys, no elbow, boy. Now, what you say, first half, I say, oh, I'm going to kick off from. But second half, now, so more, more, more. Minim, then I was going to say, I'm 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 going to say, we need to change our mindset. But the other both Bonnie in the first half second half, sorry, we don't bother. No, we don't know what we need. Who's going to lose? I'm going to make sure that the second half now the time we to born, born at the end. We never need to be shaken. You call Libya. You need Sudan. We call Libya. So I give no one is saying. So I born in Umedim. But say say I try and win the war. I call them say I try and win the war. But one day, I'm going to win the war. 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 The class you walk, it's a mobile, a different bit and handy. I'm all a yakoi, almost on Messi. The Yakoa says the way you want to show me, Yan Pedro, Uncle Bodro, Yan Pedro Biao, the Perrin. As you are winning party of one year free, and could not party of one year free war. You are supposed to be any winner. Tell me that. Yeah, the, the match with them playing, we all we worry, we the Ghanaians all we worry. Them, them not for play like that. Them, the last time where we play, them talk say the pitch you no know, good. Yeah. Where right now them face the pitch give you yeah. everything they work more than once. You can't play the boy. You, you play you, you do your work for them the, the pitch talk. That's why we all the Ghanaians we ball like that. So right here we the play say we go outside and for win one a match. We then them they go play for Libya. Yeah, we, it be Monday right? Yeah. Monday, Monday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah. we the praise say God will go shower in blessings upon us. We we the hope, we the hope for better things. Yeah. But this game and Casa where we play for here, you know, if you aspire, it be players or it be coach, it be players where they are commitment level they ground or they are they know they show passion like Asian, Montari, Asamoah, and them. What be the issue? I go talk say it be the players where they are passion they low, it do low as well. Like could you get some clear ball? Be this, yeah, where is some get. That one, he be tapping, tapping, where you go, you go, you go do your work for that. So right now, we ball, we ball, but I still, we still get Vim for that. Vim yeah, Vim Day, Vim Day. We yeah, ball there, but Vim Day. We ball, but Vim Day, man. You know, be easy, we go win. Tuesday, we go win, inshallah. A uh, yeah, very painful draw, very, very painful draw. Um, now we're in here, one of the games, especially saying, a bad draw, our home. Um, say, yeah, group now, you woman. You're about to give me your six points before this, and then you, you are just one point, one point right? against Niger, yes. and then you have one point. And say any Sud uh, Niger ball, now you have ball on neutral ground, sir. Black Stars should not even draw against Niger, but you drop. You are not fear, I'm Angola, I'm So you can say game with you. You be a best no, you be best And I would say that, and I would say, say, you are unfortunate. Whatever the permutations could be, no, we are just not fortunate. Because Jiku and your free header. Kudos boy, your Messi here, Ishaq could hear. We had a lot of chances, sir, which were easier to score than to miss. But some way, somehow, you may see those chances. But it's not done yet. I feel say away um, at Libya, no, we should be able to beat Sudan. Say Sudan for boy, you know, um, Libya or there. I feel that we should be able to uh, beat them. One thing I'm realizing in this game is that the players they showed a lot of commitment. In fact, commitment that they've not shown in our games in a very, very long time. You saw commitment in this game? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I saw a bit of, I, I saw more commitment than we've seen in the past for some time now. From the AFCON, the bar games are more boy, if you compare the AFCON performances to this uh, current performance now, you can see it's an improved performance, just that we were not able to win this game. And for the first time, you can see that, even though here we need game, you know, the fans didn't boo the players. The fans didn't show anger. In fact, they were even hailing some of the players like Ali, Ali do them for the whole 90 minutes. Yeah. And they thought that the goal could come at any time. And till the blast of the whistle, your boys know, it showed that desire to score until the referee blew the uh, whistle. No. 
and we can take off from here. And yet they expect you know the team has gone to its lowest. In fact, this current crop, I'm I'm the call your lowest ebb. Very very low. Ah no, nah, I will be that. If we the last three Afcon circle, we've been disastrous. In fact, the last Afcon, like it, it the international for the five from the and the, the, uh, the previous one were last in a group that had Comoros and all of that. Indeed, we've been disastrous, and I'm hoping that you can build on. Uh, I don't think the performance was bad. The results were yeah, but the performance I don't think it was so bad. So I'm hoping that we can build upon uh, this uh, performance and then get the results. Because we need to be at the Afcon. In fact, a very, very painful say. The last time I am qualified was in uh, 2004, Tunisia. Tunisia, yes. In and I went so Yebowo, Morocco, Yebowo, Morocco, Yebowo, North Africa. Yes. Last time I couldn't qualify was in North Africa. So we would hope that at least this one we should be able to go. Your players may be not need so much exposure. They need these kind of competitions to get a lot of exposure. And see, I'm quite happy. And if you don't qualify to the Afcon in a group of Niger, Sudan, and Angola, a big dent on the image of Ghana. And many sure say a bad day because they call Afcon now a mark opportunities to a lot of people, the press, supporters, to get exposure. It's a whole industry on itself. Yes, exactly. So I know that yes, let's say. You bet me, Abuana, Yenayam, at this stage, um, we can have our issues with every president, we can have our issues with the players, we have our issues with whoever. But I feel that it's very important that you come together. When Abuana team now qualifies, if we qualify, we are. The AKJ in there, we can discuss them. But if you don't qualify at all, it's very hard. If it can get his in the second term, get to go. If we don't get the performances and grow the team, get to go, but the team will still remain how it is. Isn't it? I feel that we should be able to build on this performance and the game you know, at uh, Libya, the, the next game against uh, the, uh, Sudan, Sudan or Libya. Libya. Yeah. I hope that we should be able to get a very good result in that. Okay. You know, I'm not really disappointed. Look, with, from a very neutral perspective and, and as a journalist, I've always said that, look, this Blaster team is a quality of players that have been assembled. But again, the missing link between the team we have is that they are not gelling as a unit. That has been our problem. And again today, uh, we, we've seen it. Uh, clearly against Sudan. Sudan is a team that have played together for a long time. You also watch how uh, the, most of their players play at the CAF, at the CAF level, in the CAF Champions League, and then at the Confederation yeah. level. Yeah. And look, even with the war, you realize that they have been pitch camp in Saudi Arabia where they play together. They are, they, they are being given opportunity by Coach Wesley Apia. I mean, to, to, to train them and, 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 and to know the players. And you can clearly see that they, they, they are a unit. Uh, you see, but the Blasters is not a unit. We have individual quality players who impress every day in Europe. Kudus, you cannot say that he's not a quality player for West Ham. Inaki, uh, you cannot say that he's not a big player for, uh, for Belbao. Yeah. Look, Antoine Semenyo, he's doing a lot of wonderful stuff for with Belmont. Bournemouth. Yeah. So, you see, the issue is about, we are not gelling as a unit. That is why yesterday, I was excited that the GFA president touched on the key ingredient that is missing, passing and energy that is missing. But today we saw a bit of energy from, the, saw team. from the team. For, we saw uh, passing, kind of but we, the yeah, team. we saw passing, but we didn't see energy from the team. Okay. Passing in the sense that they want to win. Energy absence because you realize some of the things they could have gone harder, but they were a bit cool with it. So uh, that, that is it. But as a Ghanaian spectacle, I'm a bit disappointed. Let me ask you: Do you think the boys do not understand the occasion for this particular game? No, they really understand. These are professional players. And you see, sometimes I want to make a point for the players. Look, first we won't win, but I want to believe that the player even needs the win more than more, more than us. And I think it's, it's always clear because when you win, it is the celebration goes to the players, not to the fans. And so that is a, for me again. I keep saying, look, there's something that is missing. Even you can talk, look at it, the movement of the players is not there. They don't have that understanding. When is Kudus moving? When is Antoine Samuel moving? When should they even touch the ball and leave it for? So clearly. It, it, those things have been present in teams past, in, 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 in Steven Apia's team, because they've played together under 17 and 20 level, they understand each other. So when there's, it, that telepathy there's that telepathy between them. But in this team, we just have three, four days to put them together. When are they going to jail? That is the missing ingredient. Maybe perhaps we need to start looking at a new team of players. We need to start keeping under 20 team, build them together. By the time they are ready in the next four, uh, five years, maybe they could take over this team. Yeah. Before you go, let me ask you about tweaks that you would want to see in the game against um, Sudan in Libya. Well, I want to see more energy from the team. I want to see a more hungrier blaster side. I want to see more commitment uh, from 
uh, our team. And I think that they need to be very let out up front. Look at the chances they have today. Antoine Semenyo, very rickety in some situations. Look at even Kudus Mohamed, his final touch. I think he should have gone in a bit harder. But again, sometimes we are not in the head of this place. Maybe they want to do better. It just didn't happen. But look, I think in Libya against Sudan, it's going to be a difficult cracker for us. But look, the players can make comments. So probably at the beginning of the game, uh, you realize that Coach Utoadu was playing a, a four back, a one DM with two people. That was the new guy that he has introduced, the Kakari guy. And then Mohamed Kudus. And then with the left and the right side, you see, you saw uh, Enes Nyama and then Semenyo with Jordan Striker. One of the big problems I saw today was that Kakari and Elisha. It wasn't working. So the man, he is Kakari also too. So Ibrahim Suleimana and then Elisha Owusu wasn't working, and I was expecting that the coach would have thought after the break and bring in Majid Ashmeri. I don't know whether if Majid Ashmeri is not fit. Was, was not fit prior to this game. Prior to this game, yeah. he was not fit. But probably, you, as a technical bench, you realize that. The midfield wasn't working. There were no, there was no ball carrier within the midfield setup who would carry the ball forward and give it to Jordan, supply it to Jordan or Nesnyama. And then at the first half, you saw that Nesnyama, whenever he gets the ball, he was relaxed, as if there was nothing at stake in this game. But this was a penultimate game for qualification for Mor Morocco, and as a stance. The chances of the Black Stars qualifying. This game is the third of six games that are about to be played. So, no, but probably the remaining nine points. There is no way Ghana is going to Sudan to beat Sudan. I mean, this is a game of football. Anything could happen. Nothing could happen. Now, the kind of football that we are playing, if you don't know how to play, they will beat you. Whoever a suspected uh, Sudan will even come and get a draw when Ghana needed a three points seriously. And now they have not been in, in the last two half points. Yeah. And they are. Uh, Trying to just be at the Afcon this time, and if Coach uh, Kosiapia feels that he can qualify Sudan to World Cup, because they are two points ahead of Senegal. So if he thinks that he can qualify Sudan to World Cup, why not Afcon? So Ghana's chances of going to the Afcon, Afcon is totally zero. We don't have any chance. You don't feel we have a chance? Not even a because single Because we are one. playing Sudan five days from from now. If you are playing Sudan on Monday. Probably see the team that Sudan sets over here. Purely defensive outfit, if you ask. And probably they will do a counter at their home ground and then score you at home. That's why the match is being played at Libya. Forget about whatever it is. If we give you a Morocco pitch, you are not able to play. We give you a well constructed, redefined Baumia pitch, you can play. What do you expect us to do? One, the coach is no good. His technical pitch is no good. Now, I believe that the spirit of Andre de Dayou should be called back in our next call-up. The next two games that we have in November, de Dayou should be called up. Because this was a purely a game that needed a master class of somebody who has an experience to beat this Sudanese side. We are playing a team that lacks experience. We just what we just need is that we just have to give them an experience. Bring in experienced players and then you beat them. And there were players that you have called countless times who are dominating at their crack level. Brandon Thomas, a very good player. And you bring the player and you don't fix the player. And you are fixing somebody who you think is just a 19-year-old boy. The uh, uh, ex-born player. He's just a 19-year-old boy. And Thomas, who has been in the team, he knows the setup of the team. He has been in Kumasi twice. You keep the player at bench. Purely patriotism. And then you bench him and look at what Gideon Mensa was doing. Gideon Mensa, last ball, we have two players now. Now, so the man crosses, so they take the ball from him. And as a coach, you don't see, you don't like. For me, the only thing I'll say is that Ali do. Did well, and he surely have shown that he loved the nation and he has done well. Tell me about the tweets. What do you want to see in our next game against Sudan? That is me, away from home. The game is away from home. 
as I've said already, there is no chance for Ghana to go be in Morocco. But You're really not Ghana's chance. Ghana will not be in Morocco. If Ghana will be in Morocco, they should sack Kwasiapia if Sudan is unable to qualify. Because there is no way we are going to beat Angola at in Angola. In Rwanda in Rwanda. Of Angola. You can't you can't be them there. Because they beat you in, they dominated you in Kumasi and even won the game in last minute and you want to go and beat them. A team that has seven Portuguese rejected players. Tomorrow they will beat Niger. Niger. And then extend the points to nine. And they will expect that they will still go to Niger and beat Niger again so and it, get 12. So, so Ghana doesn't have a chance to it's qualify. It's looking very difficult for Ghana. Simply difficult. Yes.